What's up, Equipo? BLM? How you doing? Let me tell you a little something. Shoving case. Innocent, guilty. Man, I really don't give a flying fuck. But, uh, there's two different things from last summer to this summer. Last summer there was an election. This summer there is not. Riot, steal, shoot, rob, kill. You do your thing. Because we're coming this time. Arm up. Stay safe. And as you can see, Esau is ready, you know. He ready for you two thirds, you you um you heathen nations, you know, that's the most high sword, you know. So yeah, let's go and get into it. This is Genesis twenty seven, verse forty, and by thy soul thou shalt thy live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Call her law, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Hau, Barakatai Hau Shah. Barakatai Hau, Barakatai Hau Shah. Alright, you saying that, you know what's going on. Um, if it ain't one thing, is another. So yeah, let's go and get into the story because um, I don't know if um, they probably kept it under wraps. What's been going on uh, since um, Derek the Demon's case has been in the news with him and, um, you know, Mr. Floyd. Okay, if you type in police shooting, there's been a police shooting every single day. But I'm going to get a little deep into it. Breaking news right now out of Hollywood at Sunset and Fairfax, still shut down right now. But the LAPD telling us that they were involved in a shooting. This happened just before three this afternoon. News chopper for Bravo's over that scene. Let's get up to Gil Labus with more on that. Gil, Jonathan and Kathy, right, we gonna, were on scene moments after the shooting happened. We're gonna get another one too. This is every day now. They go another shooting. Breaking news out of Rosenberg. A man is dead after being shot by police outside of Washingtonia on 8th Street near O. KPRC 2's Roseanne Aragon live near the scene tonight. Well, right. What can you tell us this about what been happened? Every single day. Well, All within right. the last few minutes, we just. Every day. Now we're going to go and get into the story. Yes, you are reading that correct. Since the start of Derek Chauvin trial, U.S. Popo have killed an average of three people per day. Yeah, see, this hedge of protection is removed from this man, and this man is, he, he knows his time is up. He's just starting to tear perpetually, you know, shooting Jake Dan in the street. You know, ultimately, you know, we know the issues of life and death belong to the most high. You know, beating you over the head with sticks, you know, riots going on. Yeah, we're going to go and get into it. At least 64 people have died at the hands of law enforcement since March 29th, according to the New York Times. This is from the 19th. You know, during three weeks of testimony in a murder trial of former police officer Derek Chauvin in connection with George Floyd's death, at least 64 other people were killed at the hands of law enforcement, according to a new analysis. The total was compiled by the New York Times, which based its analysis on news media reports, law enforcement news releases, and gun violence databases. Yeah, see? He hates you, Jakes. You know, that's why I showed that clip with that guy talking about he coming for y'all, because they know that a lot of them devils, you know, them uh, supremacists, you know, them bug out boys, um, boogaloo boys, whatever you want to call them, you know, they don't, they don't like you, Jakes, you know? And TV don't like y'all need, but they just they, they just using y'all as a cover. You know, this man do he hates you. You know, this is what the most high said. You know, never trust our enemy. Alright, some of these cases are now well known. Just outside Minneapolis, we're closing arguments and Chauvin's trial began. Monday, twenty year old Dante Wright was fatally shot March eleventh at a traffic stop by an officer, Kim Potter now charged with manslaughter and they say she did that to someone two years ago you know shot um someone who i think was mentally or physically challenged the same way said oh i thought i was getting my taser you know 
and bust a cap in them. No. And on Thursday, police want body camera video was made public of a sh- Chicago officer shooting at Adam Toledo, a 13-year-old who was seen fleeing with a gun, but then raising his hands before he was shot early on March 29th, hours before attorneys prosecuting Floyd's murder opened their case. Other fatal shootings, more than a dozen of a person suffering from mental illness or experiencing a breakdown. Yeah, see, they, they don't care about all that. You know, when when, when these people call and you expect that there's a high probability that you might get put to death. If the most high not with you, you know, Esau may raise his sword on you. And the most high will allow him to do that. You know, if if you if, if that's your judgment. Call a lawyer how about Shimmy Al Shai. Because you know? none of us are good, you know. So, all right, let's keep going. And that includes me, too. That's why I pray that I'm, I'm, I'm spared, my, house, my household is spared, because as you can see, it's starting to go down. You know? Jeffy Ellie, 40, of Claremont, New Hampshire, claimed on his Facebook page that he was subject to mind control and being harassed by voices before he barricaded himself and died March 31st in a shootout with New Hampshire State Police, reports the Concord Monitor. So he was being voices. He was hearing voices. See that the most I can plague you with demons, you know. He was hearing voices. You know, he probably was seeing strange apparitions, the same way they was in Egypt. You know, and they said that actually that then shot up. Um, I think of uh, a, a thousandfold. You know. All right, let's keep going. Ex police officer who fatally shot Dante Wright will be charged with manslaughter. All right. And at least 42 of those killed by a police in the past three weeks was accused of wielding firearms. Anthony J. Thompson Jr., 17, was shot dead in high school in a high school bathroom by officers responding to a report of a student with a gun. During a scuffle with officers in a restroom, the student's gun went off and officers fired twice, according to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Now, you know, I'm I'm not taking sides. I don't know the most high is the one who judges anything, but what the hell are you doing in the bathroom with a gun? You know? One of my family members, he a long time ago, this was about 30 years ago, you know, he, he took his weapon to school and, and, and got into a gunfight with some other uh, gang members in the school, and my cousin ended up getting put to death later in life, you know? I, w- I wish that never happened, but hey, you know, I, I, I can't control what the most high going to do. All right, let's keep going. At least 10 people were killed by officers responding to reports of domestic violence. Just shooting after shooting. All right, this a body cam video shows 13-year-old Adam Toledo put his hands up as he was shot by Chicago police. See, they, they don't care about that. Man, this man don't care about that. You know, he hates you, plain and simple. All right. All right, this is Amos chapter 1, verse 11. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. You see? Most I said this man will keep his anger against you, Jake's, forever. You know? Cause he 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 think that he has a chance to get that birthright back, if 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 he can totally get rid of us, you know. But it's, it's not gonna happen. The Most High is gonna save the one third and the uh, one hundred and forty four thousand. All right, let's keep going. Chauvin, forty four, white former Minneapolis officer, has pleaded not guilty to murder and death of Floyd, forty six, a black man who lost consciousness while detained on the ground with Chauvin's knee pinned to his neck for about nine minutes during Floyd's arrest, May twenty fifth, for allegedly spending a counterfeit twenty dollar bill. And the Jake said that he was gonna pay for it, but somehow it just escalated. They, the Mosai just didn't want him to uh, live, you know. Black and Latino victims represent more than half of those killed as of Saturday. Now, I heard a report several years ago that for every one Judite or Southern Kingdom Jake that's killed, 
that one and a half to two Latinos or Northern Kingdom Jakes is killed. You know, that's all at the hands of law enforcement. You know, on average, three per day have been killed by law enforcement since testimony against Chauvin began according to the Times. So that would mean because the day is the 25th. So from March 29th, when the trial began to April 25th, around 150 people then died at the hands of law enforcement, if you add that up. Wow. All right, let's keep going. Dark Chauvin's use of force was in no way, shape, or form proper, police chief testifies. You know you're doing bad when your own, um, police chief is testifying, you know. But, yeah, that's crazy. 150 people dead at the hands of law enforcement. Yeah, see, that you, you, you two thirds, you hard headed ass jakes, you, 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 you eaves that don't want to listen, you know. That they, like I said, you know, the the, the Most High is, is 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 using the sword and he putting a spurt on them, whereas though they just not can, you know, they just out here just pump pumping you full of lead now, you hard headed ass jakes, you know. And it's, it's not gonna stop. It's gonna get worse. Wait till this fool and his money collapse, you know. Yeah, that, that demon that was in the beginning of the video, you know, there's it, it, it's gonna be thousands of them out here running wild, you know. So yeah, let's keep going. Patrick Yoles, president of the National Fraternal Order of Police, says that placing blame for all of the accumulated shootings on law enforcement is unfair. See, these people, they don't take uh, responsibility for anything. You know, instability caused by factors such as poverty and poor education can leave people feeling hopeless, which can place officers in situations where people may be dangerous. You know, wait till we get totally hopeless out here. You know, they're going to be running up in people's houses, shooting people, taking your food, raping your wife probably in front of you. You know, it, it, that man, they're going to be violating your kids. You know, probably violating a dog because you, you, you know how you get down. You know, there's just so many factors that people have already made up their minds and they think that law enforcement is based off of race. They, they were, whoa. Wow, I can't believe he said that because it's true. You know, they're in, uh, they're in a certain parts of Texas and uh, Dallas, you know, they got um they own fraternals. They got like a white fraternal um order of police, a um, black um, police union, and a Latino police union, you know. So, yeah, everything is divided up, you know. You know, it say it can't divide, it can't stand, all right. Yo's who was white told the Times want to keep up with the latest crime coverage. Yeah, well, yeah, well, we're not going to deal with that. Ron Johnson, a retired Missouri State Highway Patrol captain who directed the police response after the 2014 police shooting of Michael Brown. And Ferguson, Ferguson says that he sometimes sees a different aggression by officers and encounters with people of color. Johnson is black. Yeah, yeah, they do act different. You know, they shot an undercover up several years ago uh, down in Baltimore. They shot put like 40 bullets in them. And they're trying to say it's his fault, but he was undercover. You know, and he, they saying that he identified himself. You know, all right, let's keep going. The adrenaline starts going out of the roof, Johnson told the Times. And why? It's because we don't have these experiences and these understandings of each other. And in some cases, it's about humanity. We don't see them in the same human way that we see ourselves. Police have killed 319 people in 2021, according to Map and Police Violence, a research advocacy organization whose tally includes death like Floyd's that did not involve a gun. So that's how many people was killed without a gun. So it was a lot more when you add in people with guns. You know, through April 4th, the organization says there were only three days where people, wow, where police did not kill someone. Damn. So three days out of the year, they didn't kill someone. But every day they kill on average three people a year. I mean, three people a day, forgive me. 
at least since 2013, about 1,100 people a year have been killed by law enforcement. That's a lot, according to the organization, although that number dipped during 2020. But yeah, then went back up this year, you know. So yeah, there you have it. You know, since the Chauvin trial, you know, police responsible for the death of around 150 people. So yeah, see, this man Angus Tan is tan perpetually. And, you know, he's pretty much going at you two-thirds because the most high hedge of protection is going to be around a one-third, 144,000. You know, that hedge of protection. So, you know, call her lawyer, how about Shimmy Awesha? And the water to the most high for that, you know? Because we, we want to make sure we don't get caught out there, so we want to stay in these scriptures, you know? And you tell your family, tell you, you want to be, man, be safe, man, and stay prayed up. You know, because as you can see, Esau out here, he, you know, he get he he pretty much using his sword, warming his sword up, and this is just his sword up, and this is just the beginning. So I'm gonna get a scripture and close out. Yeah, for all this man violence, you know, all his crimes, all his lying and stealing, and everything he's doing to um the um Jacob, he 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 gonna pay for that. All right, the sober dial. Chapter 1, verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. Alright. Call her law, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, and the water to the Most High from, you know, those who survive it, bring, bring, bringing us through it. Because without the most high man, this, this man will just trample us down the way he's doing the two-thirds out in the street now. So, yeah, I just wanted to get that out to y'all. As the report says, around 150 people dead at the hands of law enforcement, you know, since the start of this man trial. So, yeah, stay prayed up. The water to the most high. Hopefully you satisfied as I was. Shalom.